model threads might look nice, but if you have a large assembly with lots and lots of detailed hardware, you're going to do yourself a disservice. Model threads add unnecessary complexity because small helical features create a lot of faces and edges. While there are a few cases where model threads are necessary, I'm willing to bet most of the time your design does not fall into these categories. But let's start there. What are the cases where modeling threads is important? First, if you plan on 3D printing parts with functional threads, have at it. Next, if you want a super detailed render, by all means. Or if you're programming toolpaths for mold or tool design, sometimes it's required. Lastly, if you're making custom threads, sure, why not? Otherwise, cosmetic threads and callouts are the way to go. These are simplified representations that look like threads and include metadata for drawings and other downstream needs. When creating threads in the on-shape modeling environment, you'll now find cosmetic threads clearly communicate that a face is threaded. Cosmetic threads are automatically shown for both external threads and tapped holes created from the whole feature. And because the feature is cosmetic to the modeling environment, there is no change to your on-shape drawings. So, in review, only model those threads when needed. Otherwise, use those cosmetic threads to keep your design lightweight and efficient.